Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Today I'm in Whiteville, North Carolina, visiting Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, and I'm checking out a 2017 Dodge Grand Caravan in the SE Plus trim level. Now this one has the black top package, which gives you a lot of cool cosmetic and functional features. So let's go ahead and check it out. With a black top package, you get the 225 65 R17 Yokohama tires with the 17 inch alloy wheels with a two tone black, a shiny gloss black with the alloy popping through really sporty looking five star spoke design. This vehicle also has four wheel disc brakes with ventilated disc brakes in the front and solid disc brakes in the back. The name of this color is Billet Clear Coat. And it's a really, really nice color. It's a, it's a silver that kind of stands out, especially in contrast with all the black trimmings this vehicle has. So the headlight bezels are also black with the black top package. And check out that grill. You have a combination of gloss and matte blacks there. You also have a matte black accent across the front bottom. Now the headlights are reflectors with halogen bulbs for your high and your low beams. This is what your key looks like. It doesn't look like an ordinary key, but it is. Uh, it does have a metal key on the inside in case you need that, but generally you can use the keyless entry to lock and unlock the doors. You even have a panic button here. Let's take a look on the inside. Okay, so here's the inside of the passenger door. And check it out, it's all black. You have the white contrast stitching in a French design. And then you have this gloss black accent here. Soft to the touch surfaces here and all around your arm. And check it out, you have this pocket right there where you can throw your cell phone or whatever. In a higher position, you have a small pocket here. And then you have a larger, pretty massive uh, storage bin there on the side of the door. You could put a bottle, you could put keys, uh, you could put a full size file folder in there or whatever you want, books. All right, so here's your threshold, manually adjusted cloth seats here on the passenger side. And the cloth seats have a very soft uh, surface to them. They're like a plush material, very comfortable, very little bolstering, so it's not intrusive on you, just easy to get in and out of this vehicle. And the height of the seat is quite a bit off the floor to kind of give you that feeling like you're sitting in a chair. The floor mats hook in place, so that way they don't slide around on you. You even have a handle to help you enter the vehicle. So here's the dashboard area, and you can see it has the gloss black with the chrome trimming on the bottom. You even have a storage compartment up here that's pretty good size, even with a USB port in there as well. And then you have a lockable glove compartment down here. All smooth plastic, so it's easy to clean out. Okay, this vehicle has privacy glass here in the back, so it keeps the sun from shining on you, as well as people looking in on your family or whatever. Let's go ahead and take a look back here. Okay, so this vehicle has stow-and-go seating, which I'll show you in just a minute. But just in general, the seating positions, you have the bucket seat here in the second row with the pass-through in the middle, so the kids can get in there and run in the back, or you can fold these seats down to access the third row. Now the uh, stow and go seating is designed where this chair, this seat, can actually go down into the floor or you can utilize some space in the floor for storage space. So if you're going on a long trip, you can put actually pretty good sized luggage in there. So just to give you an idea of how simple it is, well, even with the camera in my hand, we can move the seat forward. That's the first step. Second step. Remove this floor mat. It has these snaps here. You just remove those. You're gonna pop those up. Get that out of your way. Of course, you could put that back when you're finished. All right, so this right here is a little latch. You just move that up, fold it over one time, and then lift the whole thing up as high as you can go here. All right, so then you just lift this up, and literally the whole seat's gonna fold up. Watch this. 
is completely out. I'm gonna lift that up. It's gonna fold up and get in that position automatically. So now all you have to do is take it and just push it down. And it's always easier to push than it is to pull. And once it's down in place, you just push this down, unfold this, and you can replace your mat if you want to. Now the seat is completely folded out of the way. Now that space underneath the seat, like I said, you can use that for cargo space while you're utilizing the chairs. So now that's completely out of the way. And see, you can use all these other seats and have one folded down to increase your cargo space as needed. Uh, however you want to do it. You can have that seat folded down, this seat folded down, and those seats actually fold down in the floor as well. So looking at the third row, now that you can notice that the seats are quite a ways off the floor, so your knees are not sticking up in the air. You have cup holders, storage compartments there, and it actually has three seating positions with the latch system for car seats. You also have the latch system uh, here in the second, the bucket row seats in the second row as well. You have climate controls right in here and the vents in the ceiling, hooks, handles, all that good stuff. Okay, taking a look at the back of the vehicle, it has a third brake light there with a small spoiler at the top, windshield wiper. Your backup camera is over here, a little bit offset. You have a single exhaust here on the right side. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the lift gate here. And you have a nice big dome light underneath uh, the, the tailgate here, so that way it illuminates the whole area behind you uh, at nighttime. Okay, so look at this cargo space. It goes deep in the floor. Plenty of room. You have grocery bag holders here, so you can line those up so things aren't rolling around. You have a storage pocket on the side, like a shelf. And then your tools for your spare tire, which is located underneath the vehicle, is right here. Now, I mentioned, also you have more bag holders on the back of these seats, too. Okay, so these seats fold down, and it's very simple. I could do it one-handed. So you have these numbers here. One, that num number one folds down the headrest. Number two folds down the seat like so. Number three unlatches the front. And number four is what you use to actually pull the seat towards you. And it folds right on down, like so. So as you can see, once you start folding seats down, you can have a combination of cargo and passenger space. You can have fold everything down and have this wide open space, but it's very versatile. And you don't have to take these heavy seats out of the vehicle and try to find a place in a garage or wherever to store them. You just simply one-handed fold the seats out of your way and then put them back in place. Very simply. So it's really, really great idea, uh, the stow and go seating system. The fuel door is on the driver's side, which is convenient and safer. And it has a traditional cap with the tether system here and a little place to hang it here on the door. You just take the tether and put it in there and it keeps the cap away from the vehicle. But also this is an E85 vehicle, so it's a flex fuel vehicle. It can use up to 85% ethanol. So, you know, any combination up to 85, you can do. It'll, it'll adapt the engine for that use. Okay, let's go ahead and start it up using this square key. So we put it right in there, like so, and turn it just like a normal key. Okay, here's the floor mat in front of the driver's seat. And you can see it hooks in place so it doesn't slide around on you and there's your accelerator and brake pedals you have a foot rest right behind the foot actuated parking brake okay so let's take a look under the hood to open the hood there's a latch a little bit to the left of center so here's your center line a little bit over here and you just 
reach in and move it to the right and lift up on the hood and it's not too heavy you have a prop right here to hold up the hood and it goes right there and it actually says prop okay so here's your engine compartment and being a front-wheel drive vehicle it has the v6 turned this way with the cylinder orientation uh, going this way like that there's three on this side three on that side and it's a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 with variable valve timing and it's paired to a six-speed automatic transmission it has an insulated firewall I don't know if you can see that in the back insulated battery and looks like everything is nice and tidy color-coded things that you can check yourself like the windshield washer fluid the oil the uh, brake fluid and the engine coolant level and the reservoir there okay here's the inside of the driver's side doors just like the other side of it except for it has a few more buttons and I don't know if you notice it has a puddle light on both sides so it illuminates the area in front of the door okay so you have the ability to open up and vent the glass in the back so I'm going to vent those out so you can see those going in and out Kind of let, get, let some air flow through the vehicle with this button here close them up and then you have the second row power windows so you can roll those down and go about down to right there which is pretty cool and then the front two are automatic one touch up and down like so then your side mirrors are adjusted here you just pick a side and adjust them with that little pad there and they are both heated side mirrors all right so here's an umbrella holder here so you can put a wet umbrella right there as you get in the vehicle there's your seat manually adjusted seat on the driver seat as well okay so right in here you have your headlight controls you have off parking light and then your headlight on and then your interior dimmer switch for your gauges is there the steering column is a tilt and a telescoping steering column you lock it in place with this lever okay let's take a look on the inside and the seats quite comfortable I mean it feels like I'm sitting in the chair I have plenty of leg room knee room is great because there's nothing there in the center to get in the way so really good there Okay, let's, before we get started too much, I'm going to show you the window sticker so you can use the pause button to get some information off of it if you want. Alright, okay, so let's start here on the steering wheel. And check it out, it's got the gloss black trimmings around the outside and then the leather wrapped steering wheel with the white contrast stitching in the center. Very good thickness and just a high quality feeling surface. You have your cruise control here on the right side. Volume for your radio on the back so you can adjust your volume. You can also change through your audio sources with a center button back here. On the back of the steering wheel on the left side you can change through uh, audio tracks or radio stations going up and down and then the center button will cycle through your presets your Bluetooth controls are here and your voice recognition so you can answer and make calls using that button and the voice recognition uh, is a way of talking to your vehicle and changing the radio station and making calls that kind of stuff and these buttons correspond with the, the trip computer here which we'll get to in just a second your front and rear windshield wiper and washers are on your turn signal stock okay so here's your gauges so you have this red dial around the outside which is looking pretty cool RPMs on the left with your engine coolant temperature and on the right side is your is your speedometer with your fuel gauge and right here in the center is your odometer so the vehicle has 12 miles on it and we can push this step button and reset so we can step through and go step and it'll take us to if it'll focus trip a trip b 
and then distance to empty and then you have a digital speedometer and then your average miles per gallon outside temperature and then it goes back to your odometer so there's a little bit more information there in the center if you want it here's your shifter and it's out of the way you notice it's on the the dash here if it was in the center or on the, the column uh, it kind of gets in the way sometimes so this is a good way of keeping the shifter uh, out of the way so let's go ahead and put it in reverse and once we put it in reverse the backup camera will pop up right here and you have those guidelines there and you can actually see the shadow of the vehicle and you can see from the bumper all the way to the sky and all around so it really gives you good visibility continuing down with the shifter there's neutral there's drive this is your normal drive position if you want to change through the gears manually you can bump it to the right or left and cycle through the gears you'll know what gear you're in because it'll show right here and if you accidentally bump it and change gears you can always push it hold it to the right it'll go back and drive okay so here's your center stack all right so here's your touchscreen radio you have your voice recognition bluetooth controls here for your phone and then you can radio screen is right here so the physical buttons on the edge kind of give you some you know quick ways of entering certain places so you have am fm satellite radio your presets there and your clock and then you can hit media where you can play music through the sound system so this has a i think it's 30 or 40 gig hard drive inside and you can load music onto the hard drive uh, using the usb port here and there's also an auxiliary input you can also use there's a cd player which i'll show you in a second you have a traditional volume knob and turn off the radio there now the cd player just push that load button is hidden behind the screen so it just kind of pops down it also has the ability to read dvds then you can go into this menu and you can set up different things you can also view pictures on here so you can load them off of your usb and view pictures on the screen then you can adjust the audio you can go into your files and see your music and pictures you can manage your hard drive and it's showing 28 gigabytes so it's about a 30 gig drive all right so the actual usb is behind here so you just open that and there it is there's your auxiliary input satellite radio all that good stuff all right there's some vents so your climate control, it's a tri-zone, so your driver, your passenger, and your rear climates can be changed independently. So you have your temperature, driver, passenger, and rear, your fan speed in the front, fan speed in the back, where you want the air to blow, and your front and rear defrosters are right there. Eco mode, this is where if you want to save some gas, you can push that and it kind of limits your performance a little bit, but it helps you save gas four-way flashers are here you can turn off the traction control if you need to spin tires by pushing that button and then you have this storage shelf here and goes in quite a ways some cup holders are right here they also have little change holders as well little storage cubby at the bottom and then you have two 12 volt power supplies one has a battery one has a key the battery is connected directly to the battery and the key turns off when you turn the ignition off. Okay, so here's a little center console here with some cup holders and these are removable so you can take those out, put them wherever you want and uh, you can utilize the space underneath if you want to. Okay, so here's your rearview mirror, and it's an auto dim rearview mirror, and it's actually auto dimming right now because I have this light, this shade over the light sensor. I want to mention something about the shade. The shade, this is a kind of a normal shade for a vehicle. Since this has a big windshield and a big dash, uh, it didn't really fit. I had to prop it up with another shade down there just to hold it in place. So consider that um, when you go to purchase a shade, you have to have an oversized one apparently. Okay, so you have a tap light here and here. And then you have a place to put your shades with this foam line 
compartment and then you have a conversation mirror here so you can keep an eye on the backseat drivers if they're uh, giving you a hard time you can give them the stare and here is the visor with a mirror and you have the mirror exposed mirror on the passenger side okay let's take a look at the visibility in the back all right so you have I have some seats down so uh, give you an idea of the visibility with and without seats uh, up so you can see the headrests get in the way a little bit of your visibility but overall not too bad because you have a lot of glass back there um, so this gives you an idea there all right thank you for watching and that's been the 2017 Dodge Grand Caravan SE Plus blacktop and look at all that stuff in the blacktop package on the optional equipment there it's a $2,700 ad and has a quite a bit of stuff there so anyways thank you for watching and thank you to Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Whiteville North Carolina for allowing me to show off another awesome vehicle see you next time